piece of water. Sit down. I've made some scones. Beryl. Come back to me, love. Full copy, love? Thanks. Do you reckon you'll be able to play with my ugly face in the morning? Just. <laughs> There's uh, a lot to talk about, David. I, I think we should... Uh, who wants to spoil last night? Nothing could spoil last night, no matter what we talked about. <laughs> the toast. I'll get it. Huh? Haven't changed. You're a walking disaster. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what about Patricia? Well, are you going to call her? Oh, I got a bit more than that. I don't owe her anything. I could tell it was never going to work out, but I only make things worse if I don't explain it face to face. What uh, happened? I, I mean, you were thinking of moving in with her. I was lonely. And uh, she was trying to make a go of it. Oh, I could see what was happening. I mean, she was going to run my life. Anyway, you're the only person I've loved, you know. Really loved. Hal and I couldn't have made a go of it either. Yeah. The night before he. I'd already told him it was no good. I suppose we've got the kids now. Why don't we just show up? Take the day. Yeah, I reckon it would. And it would mean no one would let the cat out of the bag until I've seen Pat. Uh, she became pretty thick with Angela and, and Lynn uh, over the last few weeks. Spent a fair bit of time at the house. Oh, dear. I, uh, I had an overnight visitor. I hope you don't mind. Oh, oh mind! Oh, you don't be... Mm, you, mm. Oh, you don't be fair. Oh. I just don't know what to say. Oh, you, um, you snuck in when my back was turned, huh? Well, you gave me plenty of time. Oh. I mean, I reckon you must have come in about two, I think. Oh, was it that late? <laughs> oh, well, we could hear you clattering around from our room. Oh, yes. Yeah, I guess I was a little bit shaky on the legs, but <laughs> no hangover could spoil the sight of you two this morning. Um, uh, <laughs> Oh, can you just see the kids' faces when they find out? No, David. Mm. Help yourself. Oh. Gave us a call yesterday, Arvo. There was some mess up with his trip back. Do you know if you saw Beryl? Mm, not for long, though. Yeah. Lynn did her best. Gave him the photos of the christening to drop in. Oh, what did he say about Well, just said he'd given them to her. You never know. You might have seen her last night. Yeah, nice thought, but not going to get my hopes up. We've got to keep things on a simple basis for me. Oh. you got here, the what? man in your life. Oh, oh yes. that'll be it. <laughs> That's it. Oh, you're all ready to go then, Mr. Uh, Bath. Better call a cab, eh? Uh, we don't have to rush off, do we? Oh, no. The plane doesn't leave till one. I thought I might uh, pop in and see you. She's been very good to me. Good I night. saw her going down the beach about a half an hour ago. Oh. Uh, well, I'll check out her usual spot. Give me a chance for the last walk. Do you want to come with me? I'll stay here and talk about you behind your back. I <laughs> think you do too. <laughs> Won't be long. Uh -huh. There goes one very happy lady. No one who won't be, though. That'll be okay. She won't like it, not one little bit. I didn't make any promises. I told her from the word go that I'd get back to Beryl if I could. Oh, she might be a little bit uh, let down at the start, I suppose. She'll handle it. Just be careful of her. Okay. Getting the last feel of the sand between your toes. Mm. I, uh, I feel about ten years younger today. Oh, you don't look it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really pleased you two are back together. I always knew you would be. I'm glad you did. I couldn't be happy now, though. 
You're wonderful being back home. Like you never left. Not exactly. I don't think I'll ever be quite the same. Well, I've seen a different side of life, I think. Mm, being on your own. It seems to have well, given me something I haven't had before. A little bit of self-confidence, I guess. Knowing I can make it on my own. It's a good feeling. It's too good to give up altogether. How do you think David's going to take that? I don't know. He'll just have to learn to get used to living with the new man. <laughs> I'm glad he thought to contact someone. Did Kevin mention where he stayed last night? No, he probably stayed in a motel. Kevin and Lynn were kind of hoping he'd have time to talk to Beryl, but it seems he didn't. Well, he'll probably be back sometime today. Yeah. Um, Mother, I've got a bit of a problem. Actually, I'm glad you dropped in, darling. I had rather an upsetting phone call earlier from Richard Coleman, the Melbourne manager of Ramberg. He's just arrived in Sydney to replace Hal temporarily. Yeah. Of all people, Gordon has thrown his hat into the ring. Daddy, can you believe it? Well, he's only doing it to annoy me, of course. He knows how awkward it would be for me with him around the place. Well, it shouldn't bother you. He's up to the job, isn't he? Oh, well, that's hardly the point, darling. It's not just me. Can you imagine how unbearable he'd make life for David and John if he got in? Daddy's not like that. Look how he's treated me lately. I know he's been pretty hard on you, but... He's never been vindictive. He'd do anything to get at me, especially through David. Have to wait and see, won't we? Sorry, darling. Not really your <laughs> problem, is it? Maybe David and I should go away for a few days. Have a short holiday. Seem to do you and Rob the world of good. Oh, actually, that's what I wanted but to do. But I am about. not going to give Gordon the satisfaction of knowing that I'm worried. Besides, I think his past business record will count well and truly against him. Maybe. Go on, Kelly. Bye-bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll try. I'll try. Bye-bye. Surely yeah, yeah. will. Come on, Kelly. Love to the kids. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh. Have a good flight. Say hello. Bye. That's good. Makes you wonder why they took so long. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we're all a bit too stubborn for our own good at times. I don't know about you, but I could use a coffee. Oh, yes, please. It'll have to be quick. I'm due at Dural at lunchtime. Another planning session for the big meeting tomorrow. Mm. Bit of wheeling and dealing, eh? No, just making quite sure the votes go the right way. Oh. You didn't get a chance to say anything about Gail last night, did you? Afraid not. I didn't even see her. Mm. She gave me a call. Last night? Mm. Poor kid's really head over heels. She can't understand why Paul's being so grumpy, though. I knew he wouldn't be able to pull it off. Mm. Well, I still feel pretty much the same as last night. Well, you've sorted Beryl out. Are you sure you don't want another cause? Oh, no, thank you. Well, I suppose she'll just have to learn the hard way. Didn't we all? Mm. You could give me a hand. Huh? How about this one? Nice, hey? Why on earth are you wasting your time with that? Much too soon for you to be worrying about wedding dresses, my girl. Well, I'm nearly 18. You're better off keeping your mind on your studies. There's nothing more important for a young girl than being able to get a good job. Except if I was married. <laughs> you never know. Not if I have anything to do with it. Don't approve of teenage weddings. Here. You can fold these. Kevin and Lynn seem pretty happy. One swallow doesn't make a summer. Lots of young marriages don't last, that's all. I've got things to do in the house. Most of us haven't got time to lot about daydreaming. <laughs> Ham Hamilton residence. Ah, oh, Rosie. Nice to see he hasn't pensioned you off yet. What do you want? If 
it's all right with you, I'd like to speak to Gordon. Patricia, want me to hang up? I'll take it. What can I do for you, Patricia? I've just heard about your new position, at least the one you're hoping for. I'm not really interested in discussing it. Neither am I. Just thought I'd let you know where I stand. I want the job, Patricia. And I think I stand a good chance of getting it, with or without your support. <laughs> with your record of total failure. If you're still a candidate tomorrow, I'll make sure everybody knows just how really incompetent you are. Life's too short for that sort of carry-on. I've got Paul and Fiona's support. I'll manage. I doubt it. See you tomorrow. You sure we can count on Ted Morgan? Fairly certain. We'll have to assume the other votes are committed to Coleman. It could be close. It should be all right. The general reaction to the idea of you seemed fairly favorable. All depends on whether Patricia can swing any votes. Uh -huh. We can handle anything she comes up with. Don't you worry about her. Mm, but for anyone not knowing the full details, she could paint a pretty grim picture. We'll just have to fill in the details then, won't we? <laughs> we have to be careful not to let things get too heated. Many of the candidates create too much friction. It could cause ongoing problems. Mm -hmm. I'll watch my P's and Q's. <laughs> Let's move into the study. Might be worthwhile going through the voting records of some of these unknown. See if anyone has an axe to grind with Coleman, huh? Mind getting us some lunch, Rosie? Something light, uh, sandwiches? <laughs> no trouble. Thanks. We'll have it in the study. Hamilton residence? Only me. Didn't want to budge in, in the meeting. Paul there? Paul, it's for you. Gail. Yeah. You busy? Uh, am at the moment. I'm flat out, Gail. Much more important things to do. Anything else? No. I was just a bit bored, that's all. Sorry. Um, maybe later, okay? Mm. Paul? I uh, won't hold you up for long. Gail's a bit upset, you know, because of you yelling at her yesterday. She seemed bright enough to me. I suppose she... Just wants the chance to have a talk with you. Oh, I know you didn't mean it. She can be a pain in the neck sometimes, but she's too young to understand why you were so cross. You don't have to take her for a ride or anything, but could you just give her a few minutes to let her know everything's okay? Was I that heavy? A bit short, perhaps. Well, the last thing I want to do is upset her or you. I know. I'll straighten it out. Paul! Be with you in a minute. It's not locked. Can I come in? rough on you, wasn't I? Sorry. Been pretty snowed under lately. I hadn't realised how boring I'd become. Sorry I interrupted then. I just wanted to get you out of the house for a bit. Would have been a great day for a ride. Still plenty of it left. I really have got too much work. I just took a short break to say sorry for being so crabby. I'd better get back to the meeting. Maybe later. Sure. How about that movie tonight? Terrific. Catch you later. What are you doing? Starting again. Oh, I was making a botch of it anyway. It would have been the holiest jumper out. <laughs> Uh, Rob told me about what's going on. He shouldn't have. I got the feeling he had to talk to someone. He's pretty confused. Well, I've told him where I stand. If he wants to help, then he can. 
might help if you're a bit more supportive. Well, that's about all I can do, as far as I can see. Susan. I'm going to try and handle it without hurting him. I've done enough of that, but... Well, she's his daughter, and... I want to have his child so much, but I can't. Can't you see how I'd feel about someone who has? Ever thought about feeling happy for him? I think I'm being selfish, don't you? I can see you're worried about it, but... Yes. Am I still welcome? Well, of course you are. Come Thanks. in. <laughs> oh, I just had to get out of my place for a while. The renovations have reached that really noisy stage. Must mean they're nearly finished. <laughs> oh, leave it on if you like. I don't mind. Oh, it's all right. I wasn't really watching it anyway. Do you mind if I smoke? No. I'll get you an ashtray. Thanks. Thank you. Would you like some tea or coffee or anything? No, nothing, thanks. Any more news from David? No. Well, I thought he'd be home by now. How's little Davy? Oh, fine. Fast asleep for a change. Ah. And the curtains. That's what I really came to see you about. Oh, Kevin's still not happy about them. I thought I might just leave things how they are. Oh, don't be silly. He'll probably change his mind once he sees them up. You're still happy with the material we chose, aren't you? Oh, yes. Oh, you stick to your guns, then. Men are all the same. It's not hard to get your own way once you know how. Come on. I'll give you a hand to finish them. I suppose you're right. I'll get the machine. Put you two in the picture on our way home. We decided we could put up with each other's bad habits again. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I'm really happy to be home. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back. <laughs> this isn't even home. <laughs> oh, I'll probably do cartwheels when I get there. Oh, I'll put the kettle up. Well, do you think Patricia will be at home? Oh, I don't know. Probably. She's got the cabins there today. You know how she hates to leave them to themselves. Oh, good. Best if we get over there now. Save anyone else having to tell her about Beryl and me. We, um, we talked it over on the plane. It's what David feels he has to do, so... Well, it's probably the best thing. I imagine she will be pretty upset. Yeah. Oh, hello. Did your study go okay? What's all that for? All finished. Want to see them up? You know damn well I don't. Well, it won't hurt, honey, just to see what they look like. It doesn't matter how nice they look, the old ones stay. Kevin, don't you think you're being just a little neurotic about all of this? Lynn wants to make a few minor changes so she feels less like a guest in her own home. It's okay, Look, Lynn. it isn't your house, so why don't you just butt out? I don't think that tone is going to help matters. Stiff. Kevin. Look, I'm sorry, but I should have said it ages ago. There's no way you're going to take over Mum's place. I don't care what Dad does, but none of us are going to forget about her. The sooner you get that into your head, the better. Patricia's here. That's her car. Maybe we shouldn't stay. Let Dad see her first. Uh, I did that once before, remember? Back open? Yes. Good. I'll get the cases. I'll carry them. No, no, you go on home, love. I'll handle this on my own. Oh, you are becoming a very boring young man. Your father and I are in love. Now, you take me on and you're going to be the loser. Just buzz off, will you? You know, I wouldn't like to see you alienated from your father again. But if you're not going to be reasonable, I shall make damn sure that happens. That's not going to swallow any more of your damn lies. Oh, you're hardly the person to be throwing around accusations of lying. 
Remember promising that you would make an effort to get along with me now that Beryl's gone for good? Some effort. I didn't promise anything. I said I'd give it a go. Look, I can't hack you, and that's that. Oh, perfect timing. We'll see what your father has to say. David's at your place, waiting to talk to you. I'd appreciate it if you'd get out of my house. Oh, I don't see why I should. I'm here as Lynn's guest. The last thing we heard, David said that you had told him the kids could have the house. Well, there's been a bit of a change since then. We've sorted things out. I'm back. For good. You mean it, Mum? Yes, love. Your dad came to see me last night. We both realised what a mistake we were making. He's at my house, is he? Waiting to talk to you. Things are going to get back to normal. For a start, these can go back up. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to make things awkward for you, Lynn. I was just trying to help out. We won't be needing your help anymore. We'll see about that. I have to hear it from David yet. No matter what you say, he won't change his mind. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Get out of my house. was as good a celebrity death match. I think we should have some models of Pat the Rat and Curly and have them slug it out in the ring. Magnificent. Now, bits and pieces today. Malcolm Carroll, you've got it wrong, mate. Rosie is not Gordon's first wife mother. She's a cousin or something of his first wife. So she's not Wayne's grandmother at all. Does that make sense? Thanks to Sean from the Internet News Group as well for the spotter on Kevin Palmer or Stephen Comey. He's working as a manager, apparently, at the Darling Harbour shopping complex in Sydney now. Although what he's managing, I don't know. And and a brilliant idea from Mrs. D. Hine as well. How about trying to find an actor or actress from SAD who has not starred in more than one Aussie or New Zealand soap or film? <laughs> Fiona sounded like Dame Edna today when she was celebrating with David and Beryl. Never seen them in the same room, have you? More tomorrow, half one.